Give me your ID. Give me your ID, sir. You can stay in the street. And you can... You can... You can give me your ID. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about what's going on here in Spain. As I'm sure you've watched the news, we are currently in quarantine. I believe that we are the third country with the most cases in Europe. Uh, most of our cases came from Italy. And last week, we went from 1,000 cases to 5,000 within 24 hours. So the president, uh, Pedro Sanchez, he issued a lockdown on the 15th of March. So this basically means that we have to stay in our homes. We can only leave if we need to go to the supermarket, walk our dog, or go to work. But work is limited because everything is closed. If you are caught walking around outside, you will be fined between 100 to 600 euros or possibly get arrested. So there are police officers driving by with the bullhorns telling people to stay inside. Um, this is day four for us and I've never been in a situation before. So being stuck inside for so long, it's like it like drives you insane. Um, today I did go to the supermarket and everything was completely dead. There is no one outside. All the restaurants, all the stores are closed. Um, the supermarket had very little people. There were limits on things that you could purchase. Um, you see people with masks. It's crazy. It's like, it looks like the apocalypse outside. Um, here in Fuerteventura, well, I'll just give you the breakdown of the Canary Islands from what I know. We have cases in La Gomera, Tenerife, Gran Canaria, and here in Fuerteventura. We actually had one case in our village. Um, this was about two weeks ago. So everyone is doing what they can to take the necessary precautions, avoid people, um, you know, wash your hands, things like that. They're saying that the reason why it got so bad in Europe is because no one took it seriously at first, but now people are taking it seriously. And people that do have it, there are some people that, you know, still talk about how they, how the flu is worse and all these things. But unfortunately, there are people around you that are really susceptible to this. For example, in Gran Canaria, there was an 81 year old woman who died from the coronavirus because her, her grandson went to Italy on vacation, got the virus, came back and gave it to her and she died. And he didn't think anything of it until he found out that she had it. So it's just being aware of other people because we are all in this together and this is a global situation. It's not just one country situation. So think about those around you, not just yourself, not just because you are the strong person and you have the strong immune system and you don't have to worry. If you get it, you will still be in quarantine because you are a danger to everybody around you. So it's best to take the necessary precautions to make sure that you don't contract it, not just for your health, but for the health of everyone else. Other than that, we've been watching the news, um, trying to keep ourselves busy. There's no work, no nothing for the next 15 days. Well, it started for 15 days. So I've been keeping in contact with my family in the US, my friends, letting them know um, how everything is going over here. And, you know, not to worry them because I know my mom is very worried. My family's worried, you know, rightfully so. I would be too. And it's strange because Spain is like this lively country. You look outside out not you look outside at night and you see parties and people outside enjoying themselves. And now you look outside and you see nothing. So lots of people are trying to see what they can do the past time. We've actually had some people 
<laughs> tourists mostly um, that have went outside on their bikes, have went to the beach, and they all got caught by the police. And <laughs> the police, they are not playing around. If you get caught and you do not have a valid reason, you will get in trouble. It just plain and simple. Hopefully we can contain this virus so we can be free again and have, you know, our lives. Yes, it is very boring to be stuck inside, but it is necessary. Um, today I went outside to go buy some food and I did see the police with their bullhorns and I kind of like hid behind the wall because I didn't want to be stopped. So I went in, bought food, I came back. It was so nice to actually see sunlight because I haven't been outside since Friday, I believe, and since it was initiated. And um, yeah, you go a little stir crazy. So being able to go outside for a little bit was nice, even if it was for a short time. And going into the supermarket and seeing very few people and everyone with masks and gloves, it's, it's crazy. But we have to do what we have to do to keep ourselves safe. So that is all for this video. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to leave me comments. If you wanna know more about what's going on in Spain, uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel because I give as much information about Spain as I possibly can for foreigners. All right, I will see you in my next video. Take care, hasta luego.